Hello, I'm Atul Abhishek. I work as a consultant at Pinghala. I welcome you all to this video on how to extract data from SAP through function model for REST service with Click Talent. Diving into the topic, let's take a glance into the architecture of how we bring SAP data to Talent. In SAP, we have message servers. Message servers allow message exchange with the application server without being aware of the identities of the application server. Function module plays an important role in building web services that we put in the message servers. Function module are specialized components in SAP that focus on specialized business purposes like improving efficiency, streamline operations, and so on. Once a message server exposes the response as REST API service in the format of JSON or XML, we fetch the REST service using talent, transform it, and populate that in our desired databases. Let's take a quick demonstration how we can achieve these results. This is the talent designer where we can create jobs to achieve our results. As discussed earlier, function module does play an important role on building web services. It does support Delta generic pagination and we can mimic the same using talent with its components. Talent allows us to use date that can be assigned to a particular column which we can use for a delta run as per as our priority. We can also use pagination. Pagination is a rescue when it comes to handling large data. In simple word, pagination allows us to fetch records in chunks. A simple example would be a Google search UI. Bottom, we have the page numbers and the corresponding information. We can mimic this in talent by fetching the chunks of records by using loops. For better understanding, I have considered a small bulk load run and good visual data for the output. We use snowflake tables for this. We use this particular table. Let's truncate this table so we have no records here. Let's run the job. Once we run the job, the T-REST component of this talent job does a get call from the web service and fetches the desired JSON. And once we get the JSON, we use a T-extract JSON field component in talent that helps us pass this JSON and provide the data into the respective columns. And then by using a TDB output bulk execute, we populate these records, the past records into the desired database and in the path filtering out the unnecessary records. We can also run this in chunks, which decreases stress and increases performance of the job by using a T loop component. Once this job is done, we can take a look into the fields that it populated. So this is how we are able to get the records from our REST service into a database. Let's do a count and check how many records have we populated. As we process 15,000 records in talent, we see the 15,000 records populated in our database. Once we get the data into a database, we are good to use it and manipulate the data as we require it. So looking at this, we are very easily able to configure talent to extract data from SAP, no matter the size. Hope this video was helpful. Please reach out to us if any queries. Thank you.